This is the male reproductive model. This is the bladder here. This is the urethra running through the penis. Okay. Other structures that are associated with the um, urethra. This number seven here, that's the prostate gland. This tube entering here at the prostate gland is the common ejaculatory duct. And if you can follow it all the way this direction here, this is the ductus deferens, or the vas deferens is what most people call it. This here is the epididymis, that's where sperm are going to mature. And this is the testes where the actual sperm are made. This is the scrotal sac that holds the testes. Okay, so you have the testes where the sperm are made. They mature here in the epididymis. They travel up to the pelvic cavity in the vas deferens, and they're going to enter right here in the common ejaculatory duct. You're also going to have secretions from the seminal vesicles, which are located here at number five. And so the common ejaculatory duct comes through the prostate gland on its way to the urethra. So let's go follow the urethra all the way down and you see that it goes through the penis. The erectile tissues in the penis, those that surround the urethra are called the corpus spongiosum. And the tissues that are out here are the corpus cavernosa. This end of the penis here is the glans penis and the tissue that covers the glands is the prepuce. This is another male reproductive model that we'll, we'll know for the test. These are the testes here. This raised structure that outlines the testes is the epididymis. This, if you turn it around, you can see that this is the scrotal sac here that holds the testes outside of the pelvic cavity. If you look here, you see this tube, this kind of a pe peaches color tube that comes up into the pelvic cavity. That's going to carry the sperm from the epididymis up into the pelvic cavity, and that is the vas deferens. If you follow it, you'll see that it comes through here, and you don't see it coming through the wall of, your, of the um, pelvic cavity, but it continues here, and it's going to mix with the secretions of the seminal vesicles. So these are the seminal vesicles here on each side. This is the bladder, and at the bottom here is the prostate gland. So these are the seminal vesicles and the prostate gland. This is the bladder. Okay, let's turn it back around to the front. This is the penis. This is the glans penis. And this, this structure does not have a prepuce. It's been cut away. So you would say that this would be a circumcised penis. If you pull the penis off and look at it in this direction, you see that the urethra is located in this circle here. That is the corpus spongiosum, is the erectile tissue that would be in that vicinity of the penis. And these other two structures here have other erectile tissue, and those are called the corpus cavernosa. You can even open it up and see the difference in the tissues also. This structure here is the urethra. The tissue around the urethra is the corpus spongiosum, and this one here is the corpus cavernosum. Okay, let's open up the other portion of the model to see other structures. You can see that it opens up in this direction. Okay, take off this portion of the bladder. This would be the bladder, and this is the prostate gland. You see this little tube here that empties into the urethra? That's the common ejaculatory duct. Over here on this side of the model, you can see it also. There's the common, on this other model, you can see the common ejaculatory duct emptying into the urethra here. Is that the hole? It's it is a tube that's coming in at an angle, okay. so you're only able to see part of it. The tube is actually going to be coming from this direction here, so you're seeing only, um, because it comes in at the midline of the body, you're only seeing a very small part of it. it okay. actually so it's comes the in. space beside 20. Uh -huh. not so it actually comes in at an angle like that right there. Okay. So that's why you're only seeing a part of it. Um, it's bringing secretions from the vas deferens and the seminal glands that are on the posterior side of the bladder. So this is the prostate gland, this is the long urethra, and you can put the other portion of the penis on here and see that the urethra would continue again. That's all you have to know in that model.